Well, my next guest is probably the most energetic uh, guest that I have on the program. She's on a number of other networks and shows. She's a super activist. And believe it or not, she's just a tiny hair, slightly less manic than Deagle. That's going some. Uh, she had, does not lack energy, does not, not uh, uh, lack any purpose. She's a mess. She's a believer in the Most High God, and she's absolutely freaked out by what she found on government websites. And I'm even going to take it a few steps further. I'm going to go into the other 90 percent that people go. Uh, in fact, I just talked to Jeff Rents the other day, and he was saying, "Deagle, you know, I get some emails, and he said you're going to areas where even people that like you." They say you're into the woo-woo zone. Like, I don't know if they want to hear this. Well, I'm going to drag you screaming into a bit today because you need to understand smart meters, cell phone towers, Wi-Fi networks, radio toxins from Fukushima, GMO foods, and so on. You've got to start kind of getting the kind of the thing when you're being hit by a brick bat, shot at, uh, blasted with a a flamethrower, and otherwise electrocuted. You have to realize they're trying to kill you. So... You need to start kind of grasping that when they're trying to start a war in the Middle East, when they want to collapse the price of oil, when they have a bond market blow that they're purposely creating, when they want biometric world currency and a biometric ID, when they're blasting radiation out that can affect your mind, your sight or biology, and can kill more weak things such as bees, you're dealing with uh, a level of evil that transcends what you consider capabilities of normal, even evil humans. Okay, because well, usually there's for some purpose, or they get some jollies out of it. You have to understand uh, what what Deborah's going to tell you right now is provable by going to the government websites. In the document, you have the link from your website. What's your website, uh, uh, yeah. Deborah? Yes, everybody go to uh, StopTheCrime.net. We have a, a many breaking news topics there. We have the latest update date on the whole smart grid uh, appeasement line. Yeah, let, let's talk started. about that. That's the first one, because I, I remember people told me, and when I talked to San Diego Gas and Electric, which I'm getting my federal suit ready, they said, well, you mean you're going to delay it, Dr. Deagle? I said, no. You must have missed that class in grade two. I'm going to update you. The word never is if you come back here to put it on my house, I'm coming up with a shotgun and I'll have armor-piercing weapons if necessary to make sure you know never, and I mean never, ever, put a smart meter on my house. I'm going to okay, sue well, you, Bill, sue your yeah, company, I mean, and, I, and if it has to require arms, I'm not going to let them ever put a smart meter on my home. Well, that, and we need that, to have that, that kind of attitude. That's what the position that everybody listening right now must take because here's now what we have found out. Passivity breeds passivity breeds violence. They don't bother with Deagle. The next day I call from their chief attorney because I said, if you don't do what I say, I said to him, I'm going to sue you. I'm going to take your home and your car. I'm going to sue your board members. I'm going to take your company. And he well, said, well, I we're going to give you what you want, Deagle. And he said, don't talk to anybody. So that night I was a guest on Jeff Rents, and then I had my own show. And guess what? I spoke to millions. If you don't, if you have an attitude of Bambi, you're going to be roasted on a spit. If you have an, have an attitude of a big bad tiger, they run in the other direction because they don't want to be eaten. Yes, we can't submit. We are in a total silent <coughs> weapons attack right now. On StopTheCrime.net, we have one of the most important documents anyone can read. It's only 44 pages, and it is an admission of a manual that was put forth in the late well, 40s. It was it was conceived yeah, yeah. by Rockefeller. By You're talking about the Gwyn Tower, all the way from the Gwyn Towers to Cell Towers. You know the Gwyn Towers are specifically to create scalar weaponry that affects human biology and biology of living things. The cell phone towers and the broadband over power lines can generate those kind of currents that are toxic, can even insert toxic frequencies to specific people of specific genetics. And people don't understand these cell phones, these Wi-Fi networks, and the toxic wind towers can kill you or modify human and animal and plant biology. Well, that's absolutely right. In fact, Dr. Deagle, you must uh, have everybody go to StopTheCrime.net. On the very top of the home page, we have new leaked uh, document found. It says Mind Control. It uh, is a 13-page document that was located on the White House government website, and it's entitled Realizing the Full Potential of Government Health Spectrum to Spur Economic Growth. And economic growth is for the international bankers, 
and for all the contracts and all of the um, agencies of the corporation, which is USA, Inc. We are no longer a country under a constitution. We are lawless. We are being run by international banks and mega corporations posing as a government, and they are not. We are being sprayed with chemicals and biologicals just like they're getting ready to do to Syria right now. They're doing it right now, right here, right over all of us every single day. And you need to understand the silent weapons, quiet wars, assault, and attack upon us. And only when you read that 44-page document will you understand the severity of what we face. But in this 12-page document that we found on the government website, the same members and spectrum experts that are behind the global uh, smart grid is uh, Microsoft, we've got Stanford University, we've got Harvard, we've got um, all, of the, uh, all of the regular suspects that are part of the international bankers, the cartel, whatever you want to call them, and they are set to implement this massive increase of spectrum upon the United States. And again, we're talking about yeah. the players of Google, well, Microsoft, Stanford, Harvard, yeah. Virginia Tech, UC uh, Berkeley, uh, the telecom industry, the FCC, etc. And you will yeah. see on page 12 of that document a map of the United States. And around all of the coastal states, the western coast, the um, uh, all of the uh, eastern seaboard, and um, all the other states, um, included everything that abuts the ocean, you're going to see a ray of radar and frequencies being blasted. And what this is is psychotronic weapons. It's for mass mind control. It's hooking in with all of the quantum computers. Everybody needs to watch oh. e Eagle Eye in order to understand how the quantum yeah. computers are going to work. This is mind can, theft. Yeah, can, I, can I move it a little, a few steps into the woo-woo zone, okay? Well, um, Dr. Bill, let me just finish yeah. this document. I want you to finish it, but then I want to, um, when you're talking about quantum computing, I want to move into this after you finish your dialogue here because people need to understand just how bizarre this is and how damned evil. Oh, it is. It is, absolutely. And what people need to understand is you need to go to this uh, StopTheCrime.net. You must get this document out to everybody you know. You must know what we're facing. You've got to, un you've got to disconnect from all wireless, all wireless frequency devices. Get them out of your homes now. Because the attack of wireless and what is coming down on us uh, with what you have as gadgets in your home are going to control your mind. This is invasion of the human brain. This is artificial intelligence. We're talking about controlling your specific thoughts, emotions, directing your physical actions into unsuspecting human beings. This is the end of free will as we have known it. And I've had several scientists and doctors participate in the evaluation of this 12-page uh, document. They're going to be using the existing, uh, uh, the, the extended TV white space system, which is already in operation as a starting point. We know that that's mind control, subliminal messaging, conditioning of the way we think. This is di a digital silent weapon system. It's also involved in the we weaponization of weather because you won't need to see the chemtrails anymore, according to what we've been able to ascertain uh, from Dutch um, Dutch tents uh, rents on this. And I can tell you that um, what they can do with the radar and with the um, uh, uh, weather weaponization at the same time. Everything they do has multiple layers. It's very, very important to understand that the... Why, why do you think they're going to be able to alter the weather without using uh, chemtrails and changes in the albedo? Yeah, well, I can tell you that we listened to some information about what they can do with radar. And uh, essentially uh, what they're telling us at this point is that uh, they're going to use the radar. Um, it has a frequency and a resonance. And uh, the resonance cr can create horrific storms where you only see this now on radar. You won't yeah, even you know, have to have the chemtrailing. Right. Well, the chemtrailing is a mid-level. Uh, that's the one that people see the way they spread out and change the albedo. The real weather, weather modification is a supercomputer system that's designed on a model of Earth that's real-time. And what they do is they insert energy at 73 to 80,000 feet, and they have to project it into this layer of nanoparticles that's inserted and stays up for two and a half to four years. This is actual technical classified data, I'm telling you, of nanoparticle uh, thorium, 1 in 50 thorium atoms is radioactive, barium, 10,000 times more toxic than lead and mercury to your brain, uh, and nanoparticle aluminum, which concentrates in the cotton and nucleus and cause diabetes. These are what we call paramagnetic molecules used to modify the Earth's ionosphere, jet stream, weather, and even cause geotectonic events or earthquakes.
No, I'll explain it in a second here. Okay. Welcome back. You know, one of the first things we want to we want to dispel here is you can become aware of things, but we're not spreading fear. I know you can hear the desperation in your voice, Deborah. Uh, remember, He who is in us is greater than He who is in the world. In other words, the Creator of God is in us if we're believers. Uh, the New Jerusalem is us. We're the living stones. We don't need to be. We are a chosen people. You know, the, the chosen people aren't quote just the lineal genetic Israelis. Even though I have Kohenic blood, doesn't mean I'm any more chosen from, than from Mongolia or Japan or anywhere else. If you hear, do God's will. Now, why, why does it have any impor- importance? Well, <clears throat> we already have a connectedness world. That world is called the spirit world. There are three heavens. This is the lower heaven. In fact, this is the lake of fire. Believe it or not. Which, if you go outside the Earth near the Earth's geomagnetic field, which is three uh, layers of the Van Allen radiation belt, the universe is a seething mass of cosmic background and gamma radiation and zeta particles that will fry your DNA in a matter of seconds to minutes. So, what we need to realize is that we are being we were created here by a Creator God, put in a little bubble I called a uterus, and the Earth. And when I was shown this, when I was eight and a half, and I died. God showed me basically face to face that this earth is like his blue jewel and there are like over 7 billion human souls that are in what we call the spiritual embryonic or fetal stage. They're fetuses growing in this giant uterus called earth. And God doesn't look down on us and say, well, you're a black child or a yellow child or a white child or a red child or whatever, or aboriginal child. He looks on them all as his potential children. Now, what we have coming against the earth is a cosmic transdimensional super genius called Lucifer, the opposer, Satan. And it's not a theoretical being. It's based through the Bible. It's also through all other ancient books that knew that there was a great destroyer that came. There were astrological equivalents, including the destroying red star, which is a dwarf star that's the equivalent of a red dwarf that comes back and causes great destruction, including pushing in hyperelliptical comets every 3,600 years. Moses knew about it because he was trained in the high priesthood. But what the globalists have been doing and what they've been doing to so the high priests through each of these ancient cataclysms is they consider themselves the keepers of civilization. The ancient labyrinth that was kept in Egypt was a labyrinth of libraries. The library of the Vatican was actually a collection of all these ancient books that they could obtain from all these other sites all over the world and still is the greatest library on earth that validates <clears throat> that the earth has gone through periods of cataclysmic destruction in the past and that much of our technology was transferred to us by what I call transdimensionals. That's the term I think is a little bit more appropriate than calling them ET. And, you know, it does parallel with the idea of demons and principalities and powers in high places. But it also tells you that they can have physical presence. They can actually, quote, mingle themselves with the DNA, not just physical DNA, which has happened in the hybrids of the giants, but also happened on the spiritual level. So when we look at our global leaders, all of them have been going through sex magic rituals, and Reiki and mind control procedures going way back long before Nimrod, long before anything, basically. And uh, the remnants of the previous inhabitants were the daughters that Noah even sent his son himself to get daughters in the land of Nod. So people didn't realize, although man Adam was the first replanted God-man or anointed man to be the, the seed of a new generation of human beings, they did make wives in the land of Nod, and so there was human beings here before because of previous cataclysms. Now, what we're dealing with in our Earth today is a galactic and a cosmic and a spiritual war, a mind war, a genetic war, a scalar war, a genetically modified war. A war literally in every sphere of reality is coming against our being. And the reason is because human beings are about to be birthed. As Jesus taught, if you want to actually read between the lines of what Jesus taught, he taught about the kingdom. <clears throat> he talked about us being the living stones. He talked about the ascendancy of man. He said, when I return, you shall be as I am. In other words, qualitatively the same. Even though he really said to Peter, he said, who am I? And of course, Peter told him, he says, I have not told you this, but the Spirit of the Most High has told you this. He was the Son of the Most High. So he's really saying that we're the children of God. We have authority. And of course, I've demonstrated this in my show, talking about the fact that, that everybody has the gifts that are nascent in me or any other Christian that has their various gifts because we are literally the children of God. We're connected on a spiritual level that transcends time and space. And Satan and his fallen ones, and these bankers are the top interface, if you want to call it, between humanity and these transdimensional entities. That's why they go through these weird ceremonies. They talk about eyes wide shut, uh, high-level Masonic ceremonies, the Kabbalah, the uh, Sephiot Zaira, 
all these ancient Kabbalistic demonic uh, occult arts, including in you know July they go to you know Bohemian Grove and do all these things like the burning of care. What they're doing <clears throat> is they're entering into the second heaven, which has been poisoned by Satan. That's why he's called the prince of the power of the air. But he doesn't inhabit the third heaven. That's where God is. <clears throat> That's the eternal now. And he's about to be cast out. He's about to be cast out of the first heaven and the second heaven and be destroyed. What we're facing right now <clears throat> is the end of secular civilization. Mankind is being... The ultimate attack is happening right now. Uh, smart readers are a perfect example. It's not just to control your powers. You don't do your washing until after 10. It's not just so that they can smooth the power grid up because they can harden the grid against coronal mass ejections and CMEs. In fact, these things send power down the line, and we know they proved that they caused the fire at San Bruno, Northern California. We had legal experts on and people that actually filed lawsuits and proved in court that that was the case. Well, and Dr. Bill, let me stop you right here real quick and just insert some of uh, the most current a couple of sentences about the smart meters that everyone right. needs to understand, which fits into exactly what you're talking about. Right. What, so you're creating a cybernetic happening? world, and when we get hey, back, I'm going to explain about one, that. Hey, yeah, hang on, because I want to add this in right now so that everybody understands where we are with the smart meters and how it ties into the bigger picture of what you're saying. What right. we have discovered is in every single city, in every single town across the United States, by executive order in all of our planning departments, the uh, cities are writing a greenhouse gas initiative, a climate action plan that requires reduction of CO2 and greenhouse gas. We know that is scientific uh, fraud. And what they're doing is they're writing in the requirement to have smart meters, all of the Energy Star appliances. They're writing in the required retrofits of all properties that do not have smart meters and that do not have the energy efficient appliances and they're going to require everybody install all energy efficient appliances but more importantly dr deagle what they're including in this climate action plan is the announcement that people are no longer going to be using gas appliances or gas equipment and so everybody is going to have to transition from uh, gas if you're using gas <coughs> into electric this is on our website called breaking news uh, smart meter appeasement uh, the opt-out was only an appeasement plan You'll see these climate action plans that I'm referring to here in Sonoma County, which is the most aggressive climate action plan. But in two years, by the year 2013, they are setting their targets of greenhouse gas re uh, reduction to reduce 25 percent below 1990 levels. And then that's the first target. Once they achieve that, if they haven't reduced global warming, which, of course, is a hoax, then they're going into discussion, discussing how we'll start reducing our agriculture and other expense of uh, increasing greenhouse gas emissions, Dr. Deagle. Yeah, but it's all uh, just a fraud. Here, here's the real situation. Of course it is, but, but people need to understand <coughs> what the measure of what they must engage at this point. You cannot submit. Well, I, I'm going to connect a few dots. To, when we get to the next section, I'm going to give you a break to, get to, to add some more detail, but I'm going to connect a few more dots. Because if people don't get the forest and the trees picture of this, they'll never grasp to say, well, this doesn't make sense. It's going to cost $15 trillion just in the next decade to try to switch them over. It increases cyber insecurity and hacking into our power grid, even by our some potential enemies. Deborah Tavares and Deborah, uh, what does it say in this document? You know, specifically on your website, stopthecrime.net. Yes, well, people need where to will they find this document, and what does it say, and what are the key points that shows you how desperately far things are? And then I'm going to have you stop, and I'm going to try to put, connect a few more dots so people will start to see this isn't just a global plan. Right. Introduce kind of you know green taxes or even Agenda 21. This is a demonic plan to abort most of humanity. It's, they're poisoning yeah, us exactly right. now, with scalar radiation. Called? They're destroying our biology. They're not repairing things like Fukushima Daiichi. I stated there last week on rents the precise technical details of what needs to be done to stop that. They feign that they don't have a clue, faintest clue what to do to stop it. And I told them with almost an hour of presentation exactly what they need to do technically to fix it. We know that's, that our power grid is not stable. 
four years ago, even in the first term of Obama, they they had a bill that was built defeated by Rhino uh, sec, sec, Rhino Senator from Alaska, um, Markowski. So. What we have is a system where we know that these radiations are toxic. The Bio Initiative report has come out and said recently with Dr. Bernhoft, head of our academy, former president, that the levels now have been proven to be 1,000 to 10,000 times lower to cause toxicity. It's not surprising we have last week's Time magazine says a world without bees. What do you think? Do you want to get ready to eat gruel if there's still well, a world well, Dr. at Bill, all? When the, when the military war documents say that these frequencies are now the new form of warfare, then hello, all the other doctors can weigh in, but the military acknowledges these are silent weapons used in quiet wars against the global population. So getting back to our website, stopthecrime.net, right. everyone needs to go there. Check out the, uh, the newfound document on the government website under mind control at the top. Then read uh, what we what we've broken out about the smart meters. Understand the degree of which you must stop this. All of this is through the Delphi technique. Also, uh, the Delphi technique was set up by the Rand Corporation. Uh, it is just absolutely predetermined outcomes in all meetings that you attend everywhere. It doesn't matter what level meeting. Everything has a predetermined outcome because it is the game theory. And so you can start looking into that as well. But read the Silent Weapons Quiet. Wars document, and here's what it says about energy in the U.S. Uh, Department of, of Energy on the website, but I've also got it in the smart meter appeasement breaking news information. It says, aiming for zero. It says, because there's always a cost to energy, trade-offs are inevitable in order to find a harmonious, harmonious balance that offers the greatest efficiency and the least uh, impact on the environment. This is the ultimate goal, not to use energy. The most efficient energy is energy we do not generate. This is not a technology. It is a behavior modification or learning to live in a new reality. This is the Department of Defense assessment <laughs> yeah. of... Let me stop you for energy. a second for a little bit of what I call legal sarcastic, uh, you know, dark humor. Uh, the ultimate behavior modification is to have no behavior at all, and that defines the state of death. That's exactly right. And absolute total mind control. Mindless right. beings. If you if people watch the time machine and some of these predictive programming movies of the past, uh, it is unbelievable. You should watch The Island of Dr. Moreau. If you haven't watched it recently, watch the original version. It just lays it out, what they're going to do to us and, and exactly how they're uh, modifying well, uh, our uh, genes. Uh, let me explain what they're doing. There. They create what's called quantum computing. People don't understand what this means when you're announcing this. This is where I want to get into woo-woo land. So people, you better have your tray tables and your seatbelt on because I'm going to take you to a place that's going to be scary because your pastor is not going to talk about this. What the devil does, he doesn't have omniscience. He doesn't have all-seeingness. He doesn't have omnipotence. So he has to use technologies in the cyberspace and, and the second heaven. He has to use the spirit realm to literally dominate our realm in order to do that. So he needs minions here on Earth with you know super technologies to gather information on every individual, which is why we have this snooping technology. It's not to keep us secure from uh, so-called Muslim terrorists. And if anything, our behavior toward the Muslim terrorists, even though they're crazy, is to make them crazier. And to every terrorist we kill, we have a crop of 20 more that rise up in their place. The real issue is this. They actually create a cybernetic model so they can literally time mine, in a sense, change the timeline of Earth. They've created a cybernetic model, and they literally are trying to literally use that as a Kabbalistic way of like using forms of cybernetic sorcery to literally create the future. They know what our behavior is going to be. We can they insert it into specific uh, time models? That are like Stanford University has been doing work on this. UC Irvine, uh, John Hopkins of Baltimore, and other places in Europe. They've actually created these situations in cyberspace with a tolerance, believe it or not, of GPS military coordinates down to one and a half centimeters vertical as well as horizontal dimensions. They have a node, literally, which they define as you in cyberspace. They have a, a database to literally create a SIM of you in space. So they figure if they can control your SIM, they've got control of you. It's not just your purchases. It's not just your location in space-time. <coughs> they know your genetics. There's no limit to what they want. And they want your DNA harmonics because they can tune into your DNA remotely. They can put broadband over power line and insert fear over a giant population. And just from wind towers or from cell towers, they can actually hit the harmonic frequencies that release from the subthalamic nucleus, the fear molecule. 
Uh, they can have behavior that can affect hypertension, turn on diabetes, cause people to go crazy. People say, oh, no, you can't do that. I said, look, these are the new weapons of the future. They're mind weapons. They aren't bullets necessarily that blow you up. In fact, it's better to make you crazy or do stupid things or get very, very ill than to kill you. It's uh, more efficient to actually destabilize the population to make them you know, slaves, make them fearful, make them compliant. And if you can even insert into their experience set ideas and thoughts and knowledge and even change their biology or precipitate illness, well, it's even better because we're on the verge, you see, with things like the hack or human artificial chromosome of creating human beings that don't necessarily have to die. We're, uh, you know, I was recruited to work at the World MS Tissue Brain Repository with Dr. Wallace Tortolot in 1978. And uh, one project was the World MS Tissue Brain Repository in his immunology lab. The other four were DARPA projects to create the super soldier. And I know in exquisite detail, which I can detail, know more about this than probably any other living human being. And I know more than almost anybody who's ever lived about the implementation of the virtual world project and the mark of the beast and what Deborah's talking about with smart meters, wind towers, cell phone towers, giant quantum computing that creates a sim of you. This is the mark of the beast. Okay? And in these implementations, step by step, and again, remember, Darbra's already said this in DHS, by 2017 is the latest date they're going to even accept to have a biometric trackable ID down to a cubic meter with your genetics, your iris scan, your retinal scan, your DNA body, your body a terahertz scan, your facial biometrics, your 10 digital fingerprints, everything you can imagine that would make you an individual. They want in cyberspace right down to your genetic code so they can actually control your genes, if not externally, by injecting things like nanotechnology so they can directly affect your biology whenever they want to. That's exactly people say, right. No. That's exactly now, you need right. to realize out there, we're not talking sci-fi. Dr. Deagle was recruited in this in 77, and I'm not your average radio host. You have to understand it out there. When well, I tell Dr. you this Deagle, stuff, this I is think... not something you can say, well, that's your opinion, Deagle. No, it's not open to opinion. Well, there's three levels of opinion. Number one, there's a thus saith the Lord, and that's a scripture, or when I tell you something that's a supernatural experience that I've had that I need to report, it's not my opinion. Number two is really good information that you need to take to the bank. I've had first-hand experience, and it's not open to an opinion. And third is, well, it's the best we can do. What you need to understand is most of what I'm telling you is that level one and level two. And we've got tons of level three. What Deborah's telling you about here, these are public documents on government websites. And when they admit things like the hack gene, when they have these DARPA sites like this one in Utah that's seven times the size of the Pentagon, they've got 147 other sites they're opening up in the next few years as big or bigger than the one in Utah. That's with that's a five exactly right. zettabyte database. Now, there's, and these, these are going to cost trillions when we're dead up to our eyeballs, trillions of dollars to create a database in every American. It doesn't matter if you're Muslim, Christian, agnostic, bisexual, whatever you are. They want to have everything right down to your DNA in their database. Yeah, it's, a global, it's a massive global inventory of every single thing, all their stuff, completely. <laughs> it's a cybernetic, geno- a genetic, a satanic Noah's Ark for the yeah. global control of building the next civilization when they crash this one. And people want to think that that's not really the next step toward the mark of the beast. They're fools, and they don't understand how close. But our God is God, and he'll get us through it. Welcome back, and before you start again, um, I want to make this one statement. I think before you prep up with all your information, so you need to prep up with prayer. What we're coming up against is not just an attack to starting a war in the Middle East, not just an attack which is making the world more toxic for bees and destroying human biology and spraying depleted uranium all over the planet and poisoning our soldiers with toxic vaccines that are laced with mycoplasma fermentans incognita or spreading vaccines around that contain DNA plasmids like the human papilloma or genetically modified food, I call a taco chip from hell, scalar radiation that caused me to get serious insomnia. And I warned them, I said, you don't come back and put this on my house ever, because I'm going to come out armed and dangerous if you try to, I'm going to sue you, and I'm going to shoot you if you try to do it. We need to have that kind of attitude. People need to realize it's time for us to be Joshua Christians. It's time to be believers in the Most High, that we are sons and daughters of the Most High. It's time for us to be innovative. 
It's time to become armed with the truth and realize our enemy are not just a bunch of greedy bankers. We're dealing with Satan and his minions and their global maniacs that have literally excised their conscience that are now dead. The living dead are ruling over us. Well, I want to add something, too, that people can do as well. They can go to StopTheCrime.net. We have a warning uh, for mass distribution to all police, fire, and first responders about the um, pulsed microwave radiation and the effects on their brains because all of our first responders, they're going to take out first because they have cell phone towers they've deployed on many of those properties, the fire departments, the police departments. They are frying these people intentionally with all of the, all of the microwaves from all of the cell phone towers that are weapons, then they've got all of the wireless technology on these guys. They're in their cars. It's like being inside a Faraday cage. They're being pulsed multiple times with this uh, DNA slicing wireless microwave radiation. We've got to get them aware of why they have heightened anger. They're not sleeping well. They're going to become more enraged, and the public is going to suffer more and more unless we create an awareness. We have the what, part of the protection is going to be understanding what we can do, and what we can do is start getting this information out on a massive scale. Get everybody to read the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars. It talks exactly what Dr. Deagle is talking about right now. In fact, on page um, 40, it says this. A nation becomes divided into two very distinct parts, a docile subnation, a great silent majority, and a political subnation. The political subnation remains attached to the docile subnation, tolerates it, and leeches its its substance until it grows strong enough to detach itself and then to devour its parent. That is what is happening. They have leached us on us, and they are getting ready to devour us. So our yeah, level, exactly. of, under- our level yeah. of understanding must be to not cooperate. Wake your neighbors up. Get these meters off your homes. These are biohazards. They know that they're going to track. And, and also, not just get the meters off their host. Uh, don't be tied to your cell phone all the time. That's exactly uh, right. You can go to Lessie I'm mean, and put a, get a cell phone uh, uh, pocket. You can put it in. I use it like a pager, and that's what I'm getting. Um, don't be always, and if you're going to use a, a, a wireless device, make sure you're not, you know, you're overusing the device or your minimal amounts. And there's things to counteract it. We use our Cognition Plus, we use Soma Pulse, we use nutraceuticals to recharge the brain. Remember that electrotoxic pollution is like glutamate, just like if you want to call it electronic aspartame, is the best way to describe it. It's stimulating firing of neurons abnormally that causes stress in your neurons. And if you take a tissue, whether it's a neural tissue of your brain, or you take a plant or a a bee brain, and you wonder why the bees can't navigate because they're getting jammed up, their communication systems, their ability to see torsion fields, the geostress lines of the Earth's magnetic field, uh, it's because we're doing this pollution. And by the way, it's done on purpose. We know the lethal frequencies. Uh, both Russia and America have complete knowledge of this, and the globalists are totally aware of it. These documents that you're talking about go back 50, 60, 70 years. That's and they exactly specifically right. say that, that this is, and see, what people need to understand is they want to make all forms of currency, including gold and silver bartering or electronic exchanges such as Bitcoin, completely illegal. That's why there's now a dialogue in these proxy wars with Syria. Remember now, keep your eye on the ball. Syria is not the plum. The plum is Russia and China succumbing to the New World Order. <clears throat> the issue is not Iran or will Iran bomb Israel. <clears throat> the real issue is keep your eye on the ball. A New World Order, a cybernetic world where everybody, including Russians, Chinese, and Americans, Canadians, everybody, is in their cyberspace control, and Satan sitting there like a giant satanic swami has his hands inside of the earth and can look in in cyberspace and control every little so-called human being because it may have, he has a sim in these supercomputer arrays, so he literally presumes the omniscience of the creator God over our little world. That's what we're facing. Now, I want to tell you something. In the NASA war documents that are on StopTheCrime.net, everybody needs to download that to understand exactly what is being said here today on this radio show, because I think it will bring some reality to this when you understand the um, all the government agencies that are involved. They're all involved. Yeah. And by, by the way, all of this is happening at the same time. We've got to make the statement that Fukushima, and I just got contacts through Arnie, uh, Arnie Gunderson, talked to John, Dr. John Apsley just in the last week. When they try to pull these fuel rod assembly bundles up, which you can't, we're going to have a power fork fire. So we're 
Fukushima is probably going to have a pyrophoric radiation fire that's going to cause a hazmat hazard to the northern hemisphere that will leak across to the southern. We're going to have a bond market blow in probably the next few months because they decide to no longer print more funny money and the stock market's already going down under 1500 We have war in the Middle East they're pushing like crazy for, even though there's no asymmetric defense for our four naval ships that have already announced they're going to do cruise missile attacks in Syria. Now, if I was a Syrian and I was there with these Russian missiles like the Alexander or the supercavitation torpedoes, I'd have those things locked onto those ships. And the moment they start firing missiles, those ships are going to the bottom. And don't we understand this, that if the Russians and the Chinese and the Iranians uh, all have cyber tech warfare systems that can shut down our power grid, affect our backup power for nuclear generators, can literally crash our civilization with even fire one bullet, but also can fire off 25 miles up in the air an EMP weapon and take out the United States. Not well, power I think it's important so, to also <clears throat> say that in the NASA war plan that's on StopTheCrime.net, they talk about the, U- the use of EMPs. They talk right. about the use of RF against our brains. They tell us that the towers will be used as weapons. They talk about serious psi war and collateral damage. The use of CNN, which is the network which was set up by the CIA. All of this stuff has been slowly, slowly uh, brought around our necks. It's, they're talking about all of the technologies that are, are hell on earth. Everything that Dr. Deagle has been talking about today is in this NASA document. And then you look at this newly found document that we found on the White House website, and uh, it's just, it's, it's all of that. And I think, Dr. Deagle, I think that people need to start preparing right now with all the uh, nutrients and everything that they need to have on hand while they can still Well, the first them. thing they need to have is our three biggies. Uh, Neutriodine, the Edgar Casey ID, and Neutra Defense, which I designed. And uh, they need to take um, uh, Neutrotrala, lung acting alpha lipoic acid, with the radiation cloud. They need to be prepared with three weeks in food and water, self protection, dehydrated food like the Ready Store, or why, uh, prepare wise foods. They need to be basically ready for a crash in civilization. Now, it's going to come in spasms. And it could last for a few weeks or whatever, but each time things are never just like the price of gasoline. It never goes back to where it was. You know, you're not going to pay the same prices as 1955. Yeah, it's all incremental. All incremental. It's all incremental. And then after the spasm, things will kind of sort of go back to normal for a while, but it'll never be normal again. Just like there'll never be a full Europe or other sovereign countries in Europe anymore, even if they try to quote partially dismantle Europe, it's never going to happen. Okay. <clears throat> what we're facing is they're going to try to create 10, it's in the the Bible, it's in the book of Daniel, at the time when they create a 10-zoned, controlled, global system with a cybernetic world, that is when they'll have the false peace treaty in the middle of the seven years with the false peace treaty when the final battles of Armageddon will start, and the great powers will go at each other with thermal nuclear, scalar, which are Wi-Fi networks, smart meters, all the other things, smart towers, cybernetic, scalar weapons against our DNA, our cells, our minds, etc., and uh, control of us through our finances. You know, press alt delete. You don't exist in cyberspace. You can't buy or sell. Save you have the mark. And people say we're just making this up. I'm sorry uh, to burst your bubble. I'm a believer, and because I have a personal, and you know, I, I call it a, a Scrooge McDuck money vault of faith in the Most High God. I know that my God is God. He's going to get us through this fire. He's going to inspire us. He's going to be there for us. And even when we don't have the technology, he's going to supernaturally intervene. Because what we're up against is so evil and so powerful and so great. Without the Creator God, let me tell you, we're done. Yeah, go to stopthecrime.net, look at the source documents, get these out to all of your friends. This will help these people to work. Yeah, at this point, you see, you you got the fantastic documents to prove, those solid documents that it fits in with the Bible exactly. It fits in with the the intuitive knowledge that we we have now that says... We're there. They That's really exactly are right. trying to bring the final control system at the end of the age. They're ready to do it now. Thank you, Dr. Deagle. Take care, everybody. Pray. Prep. See you tomorrow. And order at neutral.